In this video, we're going to be looking at strategy two for finding prime factors of a number. And strategy two is using repeated division. So I'll give you a definition first, and then we'll go into some examples. So we can also find the prime factors of a number by doing a series of divisions by small prime numbers, okay, such as two, three, or five. We can use the divisibility rules to identify these smaller prime factors. So for example, if the number is even, that we know that it's going to be divided by two. Um, if, and you, if you need to rip uh, revise those divisibility, divisibility rules, make sure you go back to the previous videos and units. So we can keep dividing by the same or different prime factor until the answer is 1. The list of all the divisors will be the list of the prime factors. Okay, so here's an example. We're going to find the prime factors of 147. So first we're going to start off with the smallest prime factor, with it, which is 2. Can we divide 147 by 2? And we know that we can't because it's an odd number. So we can't use 2 as a prime factor. So we move on to the next one. Let's try the next uh, lowest prime number, which is 3. So the next number is 3, 147 divided by 3. That equals 49. Okay, so yes, we can. So we move that one. Uh, 3 will be our first prime factor. Now we keep moving down as until we get to... Uh, to one, so that worked out. Now we try factoring 49, and to find four, and find that seven is the smallest prime number that works. So 49 divided by seven equals seven, and then we have our prime factors there. We can do seven. So obviously seven divided by seven will equal one. So we have our prime factorization of 147 equals three times seven times seven. So we broke it down into each prime number. We worked out that three was the first one, seven and then seven. Let's do an example just so we can get a, a good idea of that and how you set it out. So we want to use repeated division for 84. Okay, so I want to use our first prime number. I know that it ends in an even number. So I'm going to go two divided by 84. Okay. So 2 divided by 84 will equal 42. So that will be another even number. So I know that I can divide that again by 2. So 2 divided by 42 equals 21. Now 21 is an odd number. So I know that the next one's not going to be uh, a 2. So I need to probably go 3. I know that 3 divided by 21 equals 7 and then obviously we have 7 divided by 7 equals 1. So what you do then is that you just multiply all the prime factors that you have here on the left side and that's going to give you your answer. So the prime factors of 84 equals 2 times 2 times 3 times 7. Okay, so it's a simpler way that we can break it down step by step. Uh, make sure you know your divisibility rules and also the first few prime numbers. And you always make sure you get that you can get it so it ends in 1. Okay, so the prime factors for 84 are 2 times 2 times 3 times 7. So we'll move, next video we'll look at the uh, next strategy or how we can find the highest common factor uh, using prime factors.